What's up everybody, my name is Sawyer Hartman and oh my god am I excited to make today's video. What I have here is the brand new DJI Ronin S. It is still in the box, it's been sitting in my apartment for a week and I could not be any more excited to tear into this package and answer a couple of the following questions. One, is this the best gimbal ever made? Two, is the Ronin S actually worth the money? And third and finally, is this the gimbal to steal me away from a seven year relationship with Glidecam. Well, there's only really one way to tell. Let's tear into this package and just test this bitch out. Full Ronin S unboxing and review, take one. Oh baby. I'm so excited. This has been sitting on my floor for five days because I wanted this video to be perfect. I wanted to be able to take my time and now I'm finally getting to it. Wow. All right. Before I tear into this guy, I think it's really worth noting for the last seven years, I have been using Glidecam. I started on a Glidecam HD 2000, went to the 4000, and then my buddy Devin Supertramp invented the best Glidecam yet. I find the best emotional connection with my audience through my camera movement and telling a story visually. Glidecam does take between maybe seven months to two years of shooting on it consistently to really be able to start to master it. Now that being said, I absolutely love Glidecam primarily because I'm good at it. So for everyone asking, I have the Crane 2, which is kind of like the other version of this, and I hate it. But when technology like this comes out, I start thinking maybe I can do hyperlapses, maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that, maybe I can do that. And to me, having the ability to increase my creativity just by using a separate tool, well, that is extremely intriguing to me. Oh. Unboxing gear has to be literally the best part about getting it. <laughs> Kind of looks like, like an old Phantom 4 case. Bum, 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 bum. So I believe this right here is the main gimbal. Definitely what that is. We've got a little case here, little packets that'll kill your dog, throw these out. So the case has a bunch of like little base plates and screws and cables in it. I don't really know what those are for, but I'm sure we'll find out quite soon. Next we got this, which looks like the handle grip. Yep, that is definitely the handle grip as well as the battery. Base plate to go on the 1DX. Got a little tripod mount here, which will be good for the bottom. Maybe this could become a vlogging setup, who knows? And that seems like it, let's move on. This is literally about as straightforward as it could get. There was one piece here, one piece here. It looks like that literally just clicks in. Yep, there's an unlock bracket right there, locked in. And that's it. I've built out the entire Ronin S. That is really impressive. But it's finally time. Let's see if we can get the 1DX to balance on this thing and see how long it takes. All right, literally starting a stopwatch right now. For all the gear junkies out there wondering what I'm balancing on it, it's going to be a 1DX Mark II by Canon with a 24 to 70 2.8 L series version two. Okay, this is all over the place. We're getting there. Whoa, okay, so this is actually, where's, where's the phone? That was only four minutes and 50 seconds. Secondly, it's not a perfect balance, but I'm pretty sure because this gimbal is electronically controlled, that's gonna be good enough to get what I'm looking for. When you pick it up, it's not heavy. Like, I could carry this around with one hand all day, which means this might be a game changer. Honestly, first impressions, the build quality feels really solid and every single thing on it is made out of metal. There is no plastic anywhere on this gimbal. Considering this gimbal is under $1,000, this might be like incredible. But right now, let's just charge up the batteries and see what this thing's like fired on.
Holy crap, do I have really good news to report. I have to figure out how to try to put this into words. Everything I have ever wanted in a gimbal is pretty much here. I was shooting for like an hour and this thing is still on 88% battery. That being said, you can turn this gimbal off throw it on your shoulder and walk like this. I was literally riding my electric skateboard around Venice Beach holding it like this. Now the next thing the Ronin S has going for it is I was actually able to zoom in the lens, which changes the entire weight dynamic, mind you. However, it wasn't enough that I needed to recalibrate the entire gimbal. I would literally zoom from 24 to 70, which would take me about five minutes of corrections on a glide cam. And this gimbal was able to hold it perfectly. Now, granted, I'm sure just like a glide cam, there's even a learning curve on this, which shows you why I'm so excited, because imagine what could happen when you spend two years on this guy. Another huge factor to me is the fact that I can now do these weird turning shots that I've never been able to do before on a glide cam. This was already going to be a very close battle of using a glide cam or using a Ronin S. But now the Ronin S actually has the ability to let me get shots that I wouldn't have been able to get without the Ronin S. That is a huge check mark on the side of Ronin S. So to all the questions I asked before I actually went out into the field, can it do hyperlapses? Yes. Does it allow me to create at a higher level than my glide cam? Yes. Was I able to carry it all day without getting tired? Yes, and it has legs so I could freaking put it down. I almost don't want anybody to get it because this is really going to unlock a lot of creative doors when it comes to cinematic storytelling. And I cannot wait to take this thing to Italy next month for a month and a half. Yes, if you didn't know we're going to Italy next month, but I'll explain later. But there you have it, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about it. If you've been on the fence about ordering the Ronin S and you've been looking at maybe competitors or something, I really gotta tell you, I've tried every gimbal stabilizer on the market. I've never been a fan of any of them. I own almost all of them. I don't use them. This guy, the Ronin S, this thing is really, really special. So if you've been on the fence and you, don't, you couldn't really tell, I'm telling you, you will not regret this purchase. But that's it. If you guys like this type of video, please feel free to subscribe and make a brand new episode every single Thursday and Sunday, as well as feel free to leave a like and follow me on Instagram and all the other stuff you could do if you enjoy. And well guys, chalk went up for a win on the Ronin S because God knows there's probably gonna be tons of reviews that I just hate. But this, this is not one of them. But as always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and supporting the channel. And before I leave you, just remember, Stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Peace.